In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to edit or update a saved password in Google Chrome. So, if Chrome keeps automatically filling in an incorrect or old password every time you try to log into a certain website, you can actually go in and change it so that Chrome fills in the correct password. To do this, all you need to do is click on the three dots in the top right hand corner, then come down a little bit in the menu that appears and hover over passwords and autofill. And then in this menu that appears to the side, click Google Password Manager. Now it'll pull up Google Password Manager, which is where you can see and manage all your saved passwords in Chrome. And now you need to choose the website of the password that you want to edit. So if it's a fairly short list like Timmy has, you can probably just look through and find it and click on it. But if you have quite a long list of a lot of passwords, you can actually use this search bar and start typing the website you want to edit so that you can pull it up more easily. So Timmy's going to edit Timmy's Instagram password. So Timmy will start typing Instagram. And now it's just pulled up this so we can more easily find it. But then once you've found it, just go ahead and click on it. And now it'll ask you for your computer password in order to get in. So this password has nothing to do with Chrome or anything to do with the website you're trying to edit or anything like that. This is just the password you use to sign into your computer every day. If you are using a Chromebook and you have a six digit pin set up on your Chromebook, it seems it will not let you use that pin. You have to put in your actual password, which will be your Google account password. But if it's Chromebook, it'll be your Google account password or on a Windows or Mac computer, it'll just be the password you type in every time you try to log into it. Or if your computer has a fingerprint or face unlock, it'll often actually let you use fingerprint unlock. So you might not have to type anything but Timmy's just going to click use password here and type in Timmy's password. And now you'll be in. So it's just a quick verification to prove it's definitely you for security reasons. But now you'll see all the login details for this website. So we can see the username and the website and the password here. And now to edit the password, all you need to do is click this edit button down here. So We'll click edit and now it'll pop up with the same details again, but now we can actually edit them. So if your username was wrong, you could click in here and change that, but you're probably changing the password. So you'll click in here and at the moment it's just showing a bunch of dots and that would be pretty hard to edit. So you'll probably want to click on this eye icon over here and now you can actually see the password. So, now you can see it and you can click in here and do whatever you need to do with it. So you can paste in a completely new password or type in a new password, or if it's just a little mistake you had to fix, maybe you'll come in here and change that, type a little bit something different in there, but change whatever you need to change about it. And then you can go ahead and click save. And now you're done. Your password will be updated. Just to be clear, this will not change the password on the actual website. If you come in here and change the password for Instagram.com, that's not going to change your password on Instagram.com. This is just changing the password that will automatically be filled into the sign-in box on, by Chrome when you log in to Instagram.com or whatever website it is you're changing it for. But assuming you've now updated this password, to be the correct password for Instagram.com, you can go ahead and open up the website. And when you try to sign into it, Chrome will now automatically put in the correct password and you'll be able to sign in. And it might take a little while, but this change will eventually sync across all your devices. So if you also have Chrome on your phone or tablet or other computer, the new password should start automatically filling in there as well. So you don't have to do it on each device. And one more thing, sometimes you might have two saved passwords for the one website. So if we go 
back out of Instagram to see all the passwords. If we click on x.com down here, we can see it says two accounts here. And if we click on it here, we can see there's two separate passwords for two separate accounts. So it's pretty clear which one's which. We can see this is the account of the username Tech Time with Timmy, and that's the password for that. And you can click edit to edit that. And then there's a different account here with a different username and password, and you'll click edit down there to edit that password. So it should be pretty clear, but you just need to make sure you click on the correct edit button for the correct account. And if both of these were for the same account, maybe one of them using your username and one of them as your email address, or one of them with an old password or something, you might want to pick which one you want to keep and then delete one of the logins to neaten it up and make sure you just have one login per account per website. And if you wanted to edit a password using the Chrome app on a phone or tablet, it's a pretty similar process. All you need to do is tap on the three dots in the top right hand corner. And then in this menu here, you might need to scroll down a little bit to find it but you should find a settings option near the bottom of this menu and you'll tap settings there. And now in this settings menu here, you'll tap Google password manager. So we'll tap that and now it will open up Google password manager on your phone or tablet in pretty much the same interface, just slightly different to fit the smaller screen. So we have a list of all the websites here and we have a search bar and there's settings and stuff, but if you just want to update a password, you'll scroll down or search for a website, tap on the website, and use your fingerprint or face to unlock it. Then you'll tap edit, and edit the password, and tap save, just like you did on in Chrome on your computer. And that's all there is to it. That's how you can edit a password to a website in Chrome if you ever need to change or fix it. So. Hopefully you found this video helpful and Tamil see you in the next one.